So I've had people ask me in the past, like, how they should be training or how long they should be training or what is the best way to have good progression uh, when they're starting out in learning kettlebell sport. So the truth is, is that you want to make sure that you're at least under the bell during training sessions for 15 minutes. Um, now, for newer people, you could make that less because sometimes people, when they're first starting out, are unable to do 15 minutes of work. Um, now, this 15 minutes does not count your rest time or your GBP time. It's only the time that you're actually underneath the bell. So 15 minutes underneath the bell. Once you've been training for some time, a couple years, you can actually you can start adding more time uh, onto this 15 minutes. But really, I don't think you need more than between 15 and 20 minutes, even once you're very conditioned. Now, once again, this is just time underneath the bell. This doesn't count for your GPP time or warm-ups or anything like that. So 15 minutes is kind of the, that, that golden time frame that's going to give you enough time underneath the bell to allow you to progress. What, do you want to say hi? <laughs> to allow you to progress. Um, la, 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 are you helping them learn about kettlebell sport? Mm -mm. No, you're just showing them your tongue. So, um, yeah. and then making sure that you're also training three to four times per week. Um, also to try and make sure for a large percentage of your training sets that you are getting your heart rate into that 85, 90 percentile um, in order to tax your uh, VO2 and anaerobic system. You want to say bye? Bye. Bye. Do you want to push the red button?